All right, guys, so I did my speculation video yesterday talking about who I think the anniversary sync period is going to be. And uh, I'm not the only one that thinks this, but uh, or thinks this, but um, we all, a lot of us think that it's going to be Gardevoir and Diantha. And the, way, the reason why I think this is because of the way Xerneas is set up. The way Xerneas is set up as a support type, it just fits Gardevoir and Diantha perfectly. Like, honestly, it's just how it is. <laughs> if they don't release Gardevoir and Diantha during this anniversary, it's going to be a missed opportunity opportunity honestly uh because they just released Xerneas and it's a perfect support buddy for uh for Gardevoir and Diantha uh but anyways let's just get right into this because uh if I continue talking about uh, what I think uh, and turn this into another speculation video it's gonna it's gonna be a long video so <laughs> let's just get right into it um so this is Gardevoir right here base form um Gardevoir is gonna be a very popular Pokemon in Pokemon Masters of course uh but she is a fairy and uh psychic type but in Masters, she is most likely going to be a fairy type, a pure fairy type. Um, but they could also do a dual typing for Gardevoir. Uh, so like maybe like Moonblast or a Psychic. Um, but I think they're just going to be strictly a uh, pure fairy type. Um, now for the ability, I actually didn't like for my, like I already have my concept built. Um, I did not put any of these abilities uh, on them. Uh, they're three different stuff, so... But Synchronize, they could possibly do something like this. So, like, when Gardevoir gets paralyzed or something, uh, with Synchronize, they can, uh, Gardevoir will transfer that status condition to the enemy as well. Um, so that would be very helpful. Because then, with, um, with conjun not Conjunction, but, like, with uh, Xerneas, like, after you get paralyzed and then you transfer the status condition, you can use Xerneas' um, uh, training move and get rid of the status condition, and then, boom, you just transfer that paralyzed to the enemy, and then you also just heal that status condition with Xerneas. Like, that is a good, that's a good combo. <laughs> but, like, if they do give uh, Synchronize, that's going to be a nice little strategy right there, too. So, they can do something like that, but I did not put Synchronize on the Gardevoir. And Trace is, like, it, it's sort of like an iffy one, because there's three Pokemon. Uh, and Trace traces the, uh, the enemy's uh, ability. Um, so like when you enter the battle, you can uh, get uh, the boss Pokemon's ability, but like that, I don't know, that can hurt you, but it can also be at an advantage as well, depending on the battle. Uh, so I, I can't really see them having Trace on the ability. And, and Telepathy is like what uh, Dialga, Palkia, and uh, Garantina have on their secret ability or hidden ability. Um, and that doesn't really have any use in Pokemon Masters because uh, an AoE attack that we use cannot injure our teammates anyway. So that's pointless there. Um, so now for Gardevoir's stats. This is Gardevoir not Mega Evolved and her special attack at uh, base form after Max Eve trade and everything is 383, which is very high still. Um, and then the special defense is sitting at 361, which is still pretty high, very high too. Um, not like crazy high, but it is high for sure. Um, and then their speed is more on the lower end, um, but they're still like by no means a slow Pokemon. Like they're like they're okay. Like they're not like fast, but they're not like uh, very slow either. Um, and then after they Mega Evolve, these are their stats. Now come on, give Mega Gardevoir. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now Mega Gardevoir uh, from that 300, it goes right into 471. So after Mega Gardevoir or Gardevoir Mega Evolves, like expect to see that uh, special attack that shoot to the moon. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Um, and I feel Mega Gardevoir is actually gonna rival Red and Charizard when it comes to uh, strikers in the game. Um, and honestly, I really want that to happen just because it, it kind of gets boring just having Red as the most OP striker in the game. Um, so I really want Gardevoir to be uh, like a rival for Red and Charizard in Pokemon Masters. And especially with their uh, new Master Passive ability or something like that, um, I could definitely see them rivaling Red or if not being better than Red. Um, but after they become red, better than red, if they do, um, then expect to see another red variant uh, come to the game that uh, is going to be even stronger <laughs> than, uh, than Gardevoir. I don't know. That's just my thinking. Um, and then for the special defense, it goes to 405. And then the speed jumps up to 328, making them a much faster Pokemon. Um, so, like, in Pokemon Masters, just, like, they're going to be very, very strong. <laughs> Physical defensively though, they're not going to be that great, but uh, special everything in the special department, they're going to be very, very good. And then for the moveset, um, there's different ways that they can go about it, but I'm just going to go with... Um, uh, well, actually no, we'll talk about the moveset because uh, like when we're talking about it, we could just go to the um, to how I built Gardevoir and, uh, and Diantha. Uh, so like these, this is their moveset over here, like they could possibly have uh, Dazzling Gleam, um, 
Misty Terrain, Moonblast, uh, Psychic, but like I said, I expect them to be like more of a um, uh, uh, pure fairy type, so I don't expect to see Psychic in them. Maybe pre Mega Evolution, so like maybe they can have a Psychic before Mega Evolving, and then after they Mega Evolve, they become a pure fairy type. Um, I don't know, but then it would change like quite a bit for their build, so I don't know. Uh, that, that, who knows, uh, but we'll see. Um, and then like going down here a, a popular build in the main series game was having hyper voice on um, On Gardevoir so that could be a possibility there too um, So like there's different ways to go about it and uh, calm mind is something that they could possibly have on their trainer move So like it increases their special attack and special defense. So there's different ways to go about building Gardevoir um, but we know that Gardevoir is going to be an insane special attacker in Pokemon Masters when she does come to the game with that high, high special attack after Mega Evolving. Um, but yeah, so let's just go to uh, my notes so that we can talk about the build that I have for Gardevoir and Diantha. So I'll see you guys in one sec. Alright, so this is what I have for them. Um, so they're going to be a Fairy Special Striker, of course, and their HP is going to be 638. Physical attack 130, and it's low because obviously they're a special attacker, so they don't need to have it that high. <laughs> and then their physical defense 125, so they're definitely going to be very vulnerable when it comes to spe uh, physical attacks. Their special attack uh, pre mega evolution is 350, special defense 155, and then speed is 250. For the move one, I have it at Moonblast, move two, Misty Terrain, and yes, I'll talk about that in one second. And then for move three, I have Hyper Voice, uh, because like I said, in the main series games, a very popular build was having Gardevoir with Hyper Voice. And then for move four, uh, or I have two move threes, that, that's supposed to be move four, but anyways. Uh, for move four, it's their trainer move, and I named it, it Isn't This Wonderful? And uh, it sharply raises the special attack and raises crit. And then for their ability 1, I have Fairy Shift for uh, Hyper Voice, of course. And then for ability 2, Critical Strike 2. And then ability 3, before Mega Evolution, I have it at Critical Countdown. And that's going to help with uh, getting the Mega Evolution off faster. Um, and it has a good chance of reducing a sick move count by uh, their sick move uh, count by 1 when landing a critical hit. And uh, after Mega Evolution, so they lose Critical Countdown after they Mega Evolve. And then it turns into HP Advantage 2. Um, and honestly, critical critical countdown, having that, um, literally you can use that to get to your sick move very, very fast. You use Xerneas' sick move, and then you have your stat increases, and then um, continue attacking, get your uh, uh, ability 3 to come into play, and then you can make it evolve. Like, it should, it, like it's going to work so well with uh, Xerneas, and uh, like just Xerneas and Gardevoir, when Gardevoir has critical countdown 4, it's going to be so, so good, because you can get uh, Xerneas' his, um, uh, sick move off very, very fast, and then after Xerneas' his sick move, you get your buff, and then you also uh, can get to your Mega Evolution pretty fast still as well, so it's going to be a very nice combo um, if uh, Gardevoir were to have this kind of ability. And then after uh, Sync Moving, like I said, they're going to have HP Advantage too, and that's going to help with giving them uh, an insane amount of uh, damage buff as well. So like another multiplier. Um, and uh, with Xerneas' Trainer Move, you can do the gradual healing. You can be at uh, top HP majority of the fight, which is going to be very good. Um, and then after Mega Evolution, um, their special attack turns into 430, their special defense turns into 190, and then their speed turns into 300. Um, so special defensively, like they're, they're actually going to be pretty solid uh, for a striker, um, and then speed they do become better. So like, like they'll be good, <laughs> they'll be good. Um, and then for Misty Terrain, I said I was going to talk about that. So for Misty Terrain, for a striker having uh, like a um, uh, an elemental setup, it, like it's going to be OP for sure. Like no doubt about it, because like we know how Swampert is. <laughs> we know how Swampert is, and uh, he's a tech type. And this is Gardevoir, um, and then having 430 special attack, not even 20 out of 20, like their special attack set is going to be very, very high. And then having access to Misty Terrain themselves, and then getting uh, MP refresh for Misty Terrain, is going to be insane. Like it really is going to be uh, insane. Um, wait, does Misty Terrain do fairy types? I think it does. I think it does. Uh, if it's not Misty Terrain, uh, like if I'm wrong about that, um, then whatever Misty Terrain is right now, turn it into whatever uh, boost fairy types. But I'm pretty sure this is Misty Terrain. Uh, but no matter how you put it, a striker having a an uh, elemental setup on their move kit 
is going to be insane. Like, imagine Charizard having a uh, sunny day on his uh, on the setup. That would make this guy insanely strong because it would make him so much more um, self-sufficient. And uh, Gardevoir having Mystic Terrain is going to be insane. Honestly, it's going to be insane. Um, and uh, of course, uh, having Mystic Terrain is going to help so much because then it gives a nice power boost to uh, Xerneas as well. Um, and then having the um, uh, the the move gauge boost accelerator from Xerneas to training move, you can literally just spam fairy type attacks, and it's going to be such a deadly combo, especially when Misty Terrain is up. Um, and then Gardevoir having Moonblast as well, and then an AOE uh, 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 fairy type move, well, normal type move, but with fairy shift, um, it turns the uh, hyper voice to fairy. Uh, so, like, honestly, this is an overpowered build, especially for Gardevoir, but. Um, Honestly, for an anniversary Sinkbear, I feel like they need to have, uh, like, well, in every Gacha game, they do have uh, overpowered uh, characters with the, each and every anniversary that they do. Um, not just Pokemon Masters, so, like, that's why. That's why I have this build overpowered, because with every anniversary that uh, these kind of games do, they make an overpowered character, because, like, it, it's just fitting, and that's how it kind of needs to be with Gacha games, because, like I said in my um, speculation video, if every character has the same power and there's no character that uh, has a power creep once you have one character that you like can do th that can get the job done throughout the whole game there's no need to get any other character uh, so having a power creep is what these kind of gacha games need in order to survive because then uh, they, it gets them money and uh, the longevity of the game just lasts longer so it's just something that kind of needs to happen for these gacha games um, but uh, who knows Maybe the Gardevoir that comes to Pokemon Masters, like the official Gardevoir, might have something like this. Um, maybe critical, like having Critical Strike 2, a multiplier there, is going to be insane. HP Advantage, another one that's going to be insane. And then having uh, Misty Terrain on uh, on a Striker is going to be insane too, because that's another multiplier. Um, that, those are multipliers just based on the kit. That's not including with um, the grid that uh, Gardevoir is also going to have as well. Um, so like I could have done something like um, super duper effective for a uh, hyper voice <laughs> That would be honestly broken um, Especially with what I have for a uh, Gardevoir now and then I could have done uh, like obviously we're gonna get um, um, Move power-ups as well like a uh, moon blast power-ups uh, hyper voice power-ups Like I'm just talking like guys if this build was in the game. This is not an official build It's a, a speculation concept that I made myself um, But who knows? Um, so we're gonna find out all this information on the 23rd um, So definitely keep your eyes out for or your eyes open for uh, the 23rd uh, with all the information that we're gonna be dropping That's gonna be dropping from Pokemon Masters and then of course when they do drop that information I will have that information covered as well on the channel um, But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this concept And if you have a concept built for Diantha and Gardevoir 2, let me know in the comments below show and share your concept This is let, Let's make this like another discussion um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for, uh, the 23rd, um, I'm expecting Gardevoir big time, um, a lot of people are too, like, in a lot of polls that I've seen on Twitter, Reddit, a lot of people are highly speculating it to be, um, Gardevoir and Diantha, and like I said, I expect it to be Gardevoir and Diantha just because of the way Xerneas is built, like, there's no way they built Xerneas like that, not anticipating, uh, Diantha to be, uh, released as well. So, I don't know. <laughs> That's just me personally, but um, let me know what you guys think. This is my build. Um, do you think it's overpowered? Well, I mean, there's no question about it. It is overpowered. <laughs> but uh, if this Gardevoir were to be in the game, do you think it would be the best striker in the game, even better than Red? Um, honestly, I, I think maybe so. Uh, just because with having Misty Terrain built into the kit, that automatically alone gives uh, Gardevoir a big advantage because she's go she's always going to have access to that multiplier. And like I said before, we know how uh, Swampert and uh, May are when it comes to them having a uh, rainy day built into their uh, kit as well. Like, it's just insane. It's like when you get MP refreshes, you have unlimited access to uh, to that multiplier to give you a big, big damage boost. But uh, but yeah, like I said before, let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, also, leave your concepts below if you do have any. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.